Sandy Charles with FanRag Sports, joined by Boston Red Sox pitching prospect Michael Kopech. Michael, what's it like being here at Arizona Fall League with all these elite players? I mean, it's a tremendous honor. Uh, it basically kind of feels like an all-star league, just you know, with all the great talent that's here. We have a great team with just the guys I've got to interact with so far. I mean, I'm excited to see how it goes. What is one thing that you're really planning on working while you're here at AFL? Uh, you know, I've been, you know, I've obviously been able to throw hard my whole career. So I'm trying to work on fastball command and basically just throwing strikes is a big thing to, you know, move up, obviously. So I have that and um, <clears throat> I've been working on a changeup that I need to get consistent with. And once I get the consistency down with that, I think it'll be a big step for me. Speaking of you throwing hard, uh, with one pitch, you were thrown into conversations with the likes of Araldis Chapman. What is that like? Uh, I mean, that's kind of surreal to be honest, because I, I never, you know, thought about it. I never really. It just happened. I, I was throwing hard, coming back from an injury, did a lot of rehab, and credit to my training staff, we worked really hard, and I got back to where I thought I should be, and even better. So, I mean, it was a tremendous honor just, just to be mentioned and with names like that after working so hard to come back. Now, with the trade of Anderson Espinosa over the summer, you are now the top pitching prospect in the Sox organization. Does that add any extra pressure? Uh, to be honest, I don't really look much into it. And I know that, that kind of sounds, you know, it's neither here nor there, but uh, I just like to do what I'm in control of and, you know, focus on what I can control. and. That's not where I'm able to rank myself as a prospect. So I just go out there and pitch. Now you've had to deal with a little adversity off the field. What have you learned from that? I uh, learned to plan better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I made some mistakes and they could have been fixed with, you know, having a little bit more of a plan, a little bit more layout, and not making stupid mistakes and. You know, I figured that out and I think it'll help me down the road to kind of keep in the shade. Now at the end of AFL, what's one part of your game that you really hope to have mastered or at least perfected? Um, throwing a secondary pitch in a fastball count and that just means, you know, to disrupt the hitter's timing, you know, just kind of get them out of their rhythm and that's something I hope I'll be able to do you know for the rest of my career so here I'm really planning on working on that. Thank you so much. For Michael Kopech, I'm Sandy Charles with FanRag Sports.